Hello, I am Dr. Kavita from Portia, working as medical SME here at Portia since the last three years. Here in Portia, uh, we have been handling multiple number of patients with multiple chronic comorbidities and we are helping them manage medically at home. Now, coming to cardiovascular disease in elderly, some changes occur normally with aging. Now, these changes could be, now in the heart, we have a natural pacemaker. As aging occurs, these natural pacemaker cells are replaced by fibrous tissue and there are fat deposits happening. Now, natural pacemaker uh, maintains the heart rate and the heart rhythm. Now, because of these aging changes, there can be changes in the heart rate and heart rhythm. They tend to develop arrhythmias, especially atrial fibrillation or ventricular arrhythmias. They can have slow heart rate like bradycardia. Now, heart size also increases with uh, age. Now, heart wall thickens, they can become stiff. So, what happens, the amount of blood the heart uh, collects with each beat actually reduces despite the increase in size in the heart. This reduces the cardiac output uh, and can lead to diastolic and systolic dysfunction. Now, the main artery of the heart, that is the iota, can become thicker, they can become stiff, resulting in uh, hypertension in elderly, increased blood pressure in elderly. Now, there are baroreceptors uh, in our body which helps maintain the blood pressure levels. Now, as aging increases, these baroreceptors become less sensitive, leading to orthostatic hypotension in elderly. This means the uh, patient uh, can feel dizzy when they change their position from sitting or lying down to standing position. They become dizzy because there is less blood supply to the brain. So these are the few common uh, cardiovascular um, complications occurring elderly, the valvular heart diseases like aortic stenosis or regurgitation problems, congestive cardiac failure, hypertension, 